Howdy, son. Lawrence of Asia coming at you from Austin, Texas. Howdy. Gentlemen, I hope you're doing well. How am I justifying the outrageous price for the Nomad Capitalist Summit in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, taking place sometime in the beginning of September? three-day conference um, all about being a global nomad capitalist and how to gain second and third citizenships residencies and lifestyles around the world how to secure your wealth etc etc and if you're a ultra trillionaire like myself I'm just kidding gentlemen all right so how how am I justifying the high price tag of going to Nomad Capitalist? Now, I've reached out to the folks. Ideally, I was supposed to go with a friend. I would have been paying for a discounted ticket. You know, I'm just making over 100 grand a year, somewhat above, you know, 130, 140 a year at the moment. How am I justifying spending that amount of money? Well, I thought about it like this, gentlemen. I spent a lot more money here in the States, right? However, once I'm in, Asia or Malaysia, right? My cost of living goes down dramatically, right? When it comes to food, petrol, transport, and of course accommodation, right? So I thought, you know what? I'll actually spend a fraction. I thought, you know, I'll, I'll spend, I'll save at least a thousand dollars a month being in Malaysia versus being anywhere here in the States. So I thought, you know what? It's $3,400 for me to go for just a single person ticket, right? It's about $900 for the second ticket. But I must be at this event. Everything tells me you're supposed to be there. So I'll be there one way or another. And I may end up with a discounted ticket, etc., etc. But, you know, if I have to pay $3,400 to go to this event, $1,100, $1,200 a day, the way I am justifying it, gentlemen, is such that. I'll spend a thousand dollars less that month that I'm in Malaysia and be able to correspond connect with like-minded people mingle with folks who are on the same page as I am I am Lawrence of Asia I've lived in Asia most of the last 13 or 14 now going on actually 15 years probably gentlemen I will turn 38 on August the 11th in three days and so It's been an amazing journey. I started traveling when I turned 23. I am now about to be 38, gentlemen. So that will make it 15 years that I've been an international nomad, a passport, bruh, you know. And, you know, for me, traveling was always a spiritual experience, letting go of the known world, a lovely relationship I was in with a beautiful Colombian girl, Maria Isabel Arrosco Acosta Lawrence. <laughs> Whom I love very much. I let that relationship go, gentlemen, and I started traveling some 15 years ago. In the beginning, it was always a spiritual journey, and it still is. Everything is spirit first, matter second. The unseen becomes the seen, gentlemen. But anyway, I digress. I made a choice that I have made a choice that I will, and I have also seen myself already at the Nomad Capitals live event. I look forward to meeting the wonderful gentleman who will be participating, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and mingling with the like-minded gentleman there. So. The point of this video was just simply that, geo-arbitrage, and how am I justifying a $3,400 ticket to go to the event when I'm only making $140,000 a year? Well, I mean, by the end of this year, I'll probably be making a million, but I digress. And the way I'm doing it is a simple geo-arbitrage. I know by the time I'm back in Asia, I'm spending less money, gentlemen. Your money goes so much further, and you cannot grasp this concept, gentlemen, unless you yourself have 
actually travel. Once you start spending the money, and every time you spend your money, you feel as though, wow, I really got my value from that. Wow, that's really great value. Wow, I'm gonna buy another one of those. You realize that things don't, you know, you realize that there are different strategies. You know, you can partake in different strategies, make money one place, yet spend it in another, gentlemen. And so, this is something I've been hyper aware of myself for a long time. Now, I used to be incredibly frugal growing up. I didn't come from a wealthy background, and I would save up every penny I could, cut as much grass as I could, you know, to buy my first car, etc. And I was always incredibly frugal. These days, gentlemen, um, I will, I mean, I, you realize the shortness of life, right? And uh, you gotta pay to play, right? So you realize that, you know, you can sacrifice some things, right? You can, you know, if you really wanna do something, if you wanna travel the world, you can sacrifice about everything in your life to make it happen, right? Or if I wanna to go to this nomad capitalist event, I, mean, I can just simply pay for it and it's done. But in my mind, I gen gen generally like to justify the cost prior to spending such money on things, right? But this is not a thing, gentlemen. This is an event and this is an experience. And, you know, this will lead to so much more, even potentially um, ways that I may not have foreseen or may have not been privy to or even had access to hadn't I came to the event, which I will. And so, therefore, um, you know, I'm, I would absolutely love to have the ability to, uh, you know, have second residency citizenship there in Malaysia so that, you know, I could have a base that's more permanent within Asia. You know, I also have the optionality for Korea, but I think I have to give up my American citizenship to get the Korean citizenship. Although, however, I could get a residency. They do have a residency program for around, business residency for around $100,000. So gentlemen, I'm just kind of holding my hair here in place because it looks pretty wild otherwise. Don't you think? It's a little little thin. It's uh, the cinematic graphics, gentlemen. It does something to the hair. So anyway, um, yeah, uh, gentlemen, I, I want to encourage you not to come to the Nomad Capitalist Live event in Kuala Lumpur at the beginning of September. I do want, if you want to be there, then by all means. However, I want to encourage you to pursue your dreams and realize that you can sacrifice in an array of different areas in your life to make your dreams come true. You know, whether that be making all your meals, you stop eating out, whether that be canceling your cell phone, your internet, your cable TV, so that you can go travel and get away for two, three months and see what the rest of the world has to offer. Or it could mean that you take the $3,000 that you, you've saved up and you, you make it stretch, you know, let's just say the five, let's just say the, the, the five, $10,000 that you've saved up, you stretch it out so much further by staying in hostels, by camping, but you go see the world, gentlemen, especially when you're young. I'm writing a book called, gentlemen, uh, called, uh, travel now young man while you're young gentlemen in your 20s nothing better to do than let it all go and start traveling see the world you have plenty of energy nothing can get you down you won't be sick for long and you'll never have that level of energy that you have when you're in your 20s gentlemen so while you're in your 20s let it all go and travel the world if you want to do something will conspire to help you in that adventure, in that pursuit, if it is sincerely your highest desire to learn. So, dream big. Go after your dreams and don't let anyone tell you you can't do something. If you can see it, believe it, dream it. You can do it. You can achieve it. Dream big. Fearless, be wise, don't follow the masses, don't be a slave to your lust, be honorable, do difficult things every day, gentlemen, drop down and give me 20.
know, there's a certain material of man, men that are cut from a different cloth. And those are the men who have done things the others dare not dream to do. For me, I've hitchhiked with more than a thousand people, let go of all material possession, let myself hit rock bottom, and I traveled as a musician. I flew into Bali for the first time with $76 to my name. I spent $67 on 500 blank CDs and I hustled my CD in Bali to survive. I secured my hotel with a passport, no payment. My passport is collateral, gentlemen. When you have a dream, the universe will conspire to assist you in that dream, gentlemen. I can tell you more, but I can say that it's absolute fact. <clears throat> So, he who dares to dream shall inherit what is rightfully his. All right. Is there anything else we want to cover on this video? Dare to dream. That is it. Dare to believe, dare to see, dare to feel. Then ye shall know, gentlemen. All right. Catch you, gentlemen. Stay sharp. We'll see you at Nomad Capitalist 2023.